Alright guys, so I did not expect for this competition to be so long. I was trying to hold back on doing my review of this episode until this competition ended, but in the beginning, these people were dropping like flies. I thought this competition was about to be quick, but now this competition is still going on. It's been almost two hours. I'm watching on my phone right here. I was watching on my TV screen at home, but like, this is going long. Like, I got my notes for the actual review, but I'm going to just... I want to do my review, but still watch. Can I give spoiler alerts? This is going to be a spoiler filled video because I'm going to just talk about it right now. It's down to Annalise and Holly, and I cannot believe they're still doing this because they've been up here for almost two hours, and I thought that they were like friends. I thought like they were like the, the couches of the season. Like They don't do anything except talk to each other and about their men and stuff, but they're still up there, and they just won't fall. I'm confused. Like, so I'm trying to think, should I just turn this down and just go to my review, or should I, do y'all want to see my reaction? Keep it all. Oh, got. Like, this is my first time watching the endurance competition all the way through on a live feed, and it's good, but Jesus Christ. Now, I'm glad that it's long, but really... I would be glad if it was like last year when it was down to like Haley and Tyler. But this is down to two people who are probably going to do the same move. So, unless there's something going on that I don't know about because I don't watch the feeds because these people suck. But I do keep up with other people and nobody told me anything about Holly and Sis. This is weird. Hang on, Holly. Got it, Sis. Reset. So, I'm going to just turn this down, I guess, and get to my review. Or maybe I should just give my reaction to this first. Just let it in. Because I'm recording this video to post it as a reaction, so. I guess. I don't know how long this crap is about to be, y'all. Like, I just don't, I don't get it. Like, I don't care who wins. Because it's the same. Like, it's even the same in the sense of we're going to have a showman in the HOH room. With a lot of HOH room shower. Well, I would prefer Holly to win. Because I think she'd be, but I still think she's going to do the same move as Annalise, though. Sis, whatever. And Kat, like, oh, I want to do a review on this so bad, like, y'all. I guess I can just do a review on who won HOH right now instead of my whole review on the episode. So, the elimination order went as follows. Jessica got eliminated before the episode even went off, as y'all saw. She lasted about six minutes. If I like did the math in my head real quick, I think she lasted like six minutes. It might be less than that. So, she lasted like just over five minutes, which I think we all expected. Because Jessica... She fell first in the last HOH competition, I think. Did she? I think she did. When Christy won, I think she fell first in that one. And Jessica is a plus size model. And normally, like, if you're bigger, and I'm not saying, like, she's, like, big. Definitely wouldn't describe her as big being a word, but plus size. She's thicker than, like, some other people. I would expect her to fall first. She's... Like, it's a good thing Cliff wasn't inside this competition because he's, like, the biggest guy. But then Jack did really good, though. But anyway, so I think she fell at about six minutes. And then the next person to fall was Nicole, which broke all of our hearts, or at least my heart and a lot of people who were rooting for her. Because I think she has the most amount of fans out of anybody on the show now. And she, la she fell before the episode went off. She fell, like, right before they cut the feed of the live show. And I think she lasted, like, seven minutes. She lasted, like, one minute more than Jessica. What was up with that? Like, she must really just legit suck at competitions. Like, she's not, like... I like Nicole, but... Uh, like, if there was other people inside the house, she wouldn't be my number one. Which she is right now, because... That's horrible. You lasted seven minutes in this competition, and somebody like Jack, 
lasted as long as he did. And I'm not saying anything bad about Jack. It's just that he's bigger. So, like, I feel like this kind of... But we'll get to it because I think a little bit something in here was rigged. And I'll get to that in a second. So, next... Like, Sam fell after 14 minutes. And at this point, I'm like, okay. The last... Oh, going into this competition, the people who I wanted to win was only Nicole or Nick. Because I just felt like, oh, Nicole, Nick, or Cat, Nicole, Nick, or Cat, and the reason why I didn't pick Sam is because I feel like Sam would go after Jessica. I didn't want well, Jessica because I felt like Jessica would go after Sam, and like I just felt like those two canceled each other out. So I was going for Nicole, who I don't. I'm not even sure if she would have targeted people from the six, whatever it's called, six pack or six six shooters, but. The, that's what I wanted. And who I predicted after knowing that it was an endurance competition, I said the winner will be Cat, Holly, or Jackson. I think that Jackson looks like really, really strong and he's not really like big, so I thought he would win. So those are the three I thought would win. So then the next person to be eliminated was Sam after 14 minutes, like I said. Oh, shit. Right, they might yeah, they might be trying to bring it higher so you can throw it higher, but. I was afraid that would happen. No, I made it worse. Oh, is Holly about to. Holly's about to. I think Sis might win, y'all. Unfortunately, because I don't want her, to, her, I don't want her to. Anyway, 14 minutes for Sam, and then Christy surprisingly lost after 16 minutes because I thought she looked like solid, like in her face, and I thought she could be a repeat HOH with this, but she was out, which was surprising to me. Then Nick fell after 18 minutes, which. I have to, like, salute him because he, and I don't like Nick, but he was struggling on minute one. Minute one, he was struggling, and it looked like he was, it was no way he was going to win this. And he outlasted four people, two of which are way smaller than him. Well, one of which is way smaller than him. The other one, like, Christy is, like, she's smaller than him, but, like, I don't know. Like, probably, like, I don't know. Uh, so after 18 minutes, then there was another 10 minutes before Jack actually fell. And I have to admit, if I'm honest, y'all, the feed camera that I was watching, I didn't see Jack or Jackson. Like I could not see them. So this whole competition, I never saw Jack. I heard that he fell. I have no clue like how he fell or what the situation was at all. Um, if y'all don't know, they were like putting feathers, like spreading feathers on them or spraying slime. And... Y'all can see how poor Holly. I feel like Holly is fighting so hard, and she, Holly, ooh, <laughs> the dogs. Um, so after Jack Jack fell, I switched the camera angle so I could see everybody. And at this point, it's down to five people left, and I'm like, wow, four of them are six shooters, uh, and Cat, four six shooters and Cat. So after 41 minutes, 40, 41 minutes, Tommy fell. And Tommy was going through some stuff. Like, he was doing splits and all this acrobatic crap, and he fell. So now it's down to the final four. Jackson, Kat, Annalise, and Holly. And at this point, I'm like, so are they just waiting for Kat to fall? Because aren't all three of them in the alliance? That's what I'm thinking. But Kat, like, they kept... By the way, let me talk about these people. Jack was like coaching Jackson and Sis and Holly on how to do this and how to do that. I'm like, Jack, you fail. You fail. Why would they take any advice from you? Then, I felt like Christy was flirting so much with Kat, like just kept talking to Kat, and someone even called it out like, all right, Christy, Jesus Christ. Uh, at this point, Kat was like being like, she was showing off because she actually dropped her foot like twice and ended up getting it back. If y'all don't know what I'm saying, like, they had their feet inside these little hooks. And she ended up standing on one foot twice. Ended up getting her other, like, I don't know what it's called, back twice. Jackson. This is where I feel like this thing was a little bit rigged. I feel like while the girls were doing all this crap and Tommy was doing the splits and all these people were doing all this. Granted, I never saw Jack, so I don't know what Jack did. But Jackson, I feel, was just like this the whole time. Even when, like, the machine would make the nose like, 
around, like something's happened. Jackson was just still like this. Like his feet were straight. His feet never went up. And if y'all want to argue with me about that, y'all, I feel like it happened once, maybe once. But he was just like this. Am I the only one that felt like that? If you watched the whole time, the girls were like feet, like Cat's foot was by her shoulder, Annalise's shoulder, Annalise's shoulder was on Cat's foot, Holly was like twisted all up, and Jackson was like this. Like, I just feel like it was rigged for him to win, and I feel like he just got tired because his he was standing on his feet for too long, and they started shaking, and he eventually fell. Also got to mention the fact that he peed on himself. I'm actually surprised that didn't happen more often than these endurance competitions. He was up there for a long time, and when you put in, like, the thought that they just did a live show, they were sitting on that couch, just, they went in and voted. Like, I can see why he would pee on himself. So, but I don't know why they were laughing. Well, I can see why they were laughing, but, like, Jack was, like, happy that he peed on himself. That was kind of weird. I cannot believe this is still going on between these two. Something has got to be going on to where they don't trust each other. Can somebody please let me know? Uh, yeah. So, oh, so then Jackson finally fell after 90 minutes, an hour and a half. Now, I didn't realize how long these four, well, I did realize how long, but I didn't realize, like, I knew they were up there for a long time in this Final Four, but I didn't realize how long, an hour and a half, Jesus Christ. And that's when I'm like, you know what, I need to do this video, because I haven't even filmed my review of this episode, or this week. But right after Jackson fell, in his own pee, mind you, Cat fell. Uh, so I'm assuming Cat just wanted to make sure. I, I've heard about the, the fights between Cat and Jackson. I wish Cat would have stayed though, man. But I guess <sighs> Cat. But what if Annalise wins? I feel like okay, she trusts Holly. But what if Annalise wins? I feel like they can. Annalise is so weak. I'm sorry, Annalise is a flop. But I feel like I never really had hope for her anyway. But I did kind of pick her to win. I wish I could switch my vote to Holly, even though I don't like Holly either. Jesus Christ. So Jackson fell after 90 minutes, so an hour and a half exactly. Based on the math I did, it might be, I don't know, give or take. And Cat fell at 91 minutes. So at least she outlasted him. That was good. Uh, Kat is definitely becoming one of my favorites, or she is one of my favorites at this point because... I mean, I can't just only root for Nicole. <laughs> so Cat is second, and I'm 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 actually I don't want to say this, but I'm not that big of not a fan of Holly. Like I don't think Holly has done much for me to dislike her. Like I feel like Tommy's done worse stuff than Holly. Yeah, Holly's sleeping with Jackson, but. Mm, Actually, that is pretty bad. <laughs> and she took her him from a, her one of her friends, so-called friends. But did she participate in any bashing of Kimmy or any racist acts? I don't think so. Maybe she did, though. I don't know. So, Jackson and Kat left out an hour and a half, and that was about an hour and a half ago. I cannot believe these two are still in this competition. This is going to be just a live feed spoiler. Come on, at least fall. Now, I am recording this on my phone. If it goes through, I will post it on this video. Come on, at least fall. I don't even know why I'm rooting for her. I feel like Annalise is more of a follower than Holly, but I feel like Holly's a follower, too. They're, like, the same. That's why I don't care, and I wish that this would end. You would think that they were targeting each other. I do think it was pretty funny that the people that I thought were going to win in my prediction were Cat, Holly, and Jackson. And the final four was Cat, Holly, Jackson, and Sis, Annalise. I was just really hoping for Annalise to fall. But I'm like, I should really start tweeting out 
who I think is going to win the HOH because if Sis would have failed, Annalise would have failed. I refuse to call that girl Sis. If Annalise would have failed, then my three would have been there. But I really hope Holly wins, so, like, my prediction. I feel like it don't matter. We really love our dogs. Oh, speaking of that, as um, soon as Jackson fell, Annalise started pleading. Come on, girl. Uh, I just want to see my family. I hate when people say that. I hate it. Because it's like, they all want to see their family, or I'm assuming they do. This cast sucks. I'm, I'm not editing this video, by the way. I'm not editing it at all. So, green screen today, y'all. Sorry. If I did put a screen behind me and didn't just put the green screen, then it's... That was awkward, but, um... <laughs> I, I put the green, I put the Big Brother logo, but I didn't edit the video. Y'all probably be able to tell. I'm not editing this. Golly, this this competition is so. So in the beginning, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five people were gone before it even hit 20 minutes. So I thought this competition would be like short. But then, like, when Jack left, it was, like, long as hell. Then Tommy... I didn't get to see when Tommy fell, though. But Tommy was struggling. But like, I feel like Jackson had the easiest time. And even if y'all y'all find stuff where his feet did go up, compare it to how much these girls, like, Kat, Annalise... I'm surprised the people that were sick... How is Annalise... It don't even look like she holding nothing. If I'm sorry, y'all, in advance, if I could not get the the picture, the video up on screen, because if not, y'all just looking at me, look at nothing, which is awkward. This is so boring because I don't care who. Went. Like, if this was between sis and cat, all right. This is between Holly and cat, all right. This is between Holly and. Jessica, what? Jessica's such a flop. Nicole and Holly, all right. Sam and Holly, all right. Annalise and Sam, all right. But this is just like, it's basically between Annalise and Annalise. Or Holly and Holly. Wow. My camera's blinking. I've been watching this for so long. It's been down to these two. For, it's been over two hours now. I feel like Annalise will win though because <sighs> Holly just had a tougher time. My camera's blinking, y'all. So basically, you saying you still gonna sleep with him? Sorry, I'm really bored up here. No, I don't like Holly. No, I love it. She just told Jackson, "Oh, you just want a comfy bed." Cause so basically, he can sleep with you all night. And he really sitting there in his pee. Big Brother is amazing. Like, when I first started watching this, I didn't know that all their challenges was in the backyard. Because I started watching last year. Um, Y'all want to hear more about that story? Let me know. But it's amazing how they turned this backyard into the, this stuff. Like, look at this right now. You would not guess that this was their backyard. I mean, I know we can only see a little bit of it, but Jesus Christ, it looks like great. Sis, Annalise, just fall. Matter of fact, Holly, just fall. Because at this point, if you're going to be sleeping with Nick or uh, Jackson, you might as well fall, too. I don't like you. So, the people I like, because I don't like Cliff. I 
I really don't like Sam still. I don't like Nick. I like Nicole. I really only like Nicole and Cap. And I barely even. I mean, I like Cap. She's funny. Why don't I like Cap? I think I just don't like Cap because of how she treated uh, Kimmy. Oh, and she slept with Jackson. <laughs> so Holly just said they should have a dual HOH where they share the bed, they share the room, they share pictures, they both put up one person. That would actually be alright. Kind of fun. No, don't give them no ideas to bring back that stupid twist. Battle of the Block. That was the worst. If y'all don't know what I'm talking about, C, B, B, 18, and, or not 18, 16 and 17. I'm sorry this video is so long, y'all. I don't even know if I'm going to do my episode review at this point. I don't think Cat would have lasted. But then again, <laughs> Jackson probably feels so stupid for for peeing on himself, falling in his own pee, and seeing how long they last because he's probably thinking, "There's no way I could have lasted that long." So, oh, Holly. Annalise might not want to put up Nick, though. Annalise might put up... Maybe Annalise should win, because she might put up, like, Jessica, who I don't like. And she might put up, like, Cliff, who I don't like. I think that would be Annalise's. She would put up Jessica and um, Cliff. If Holly won... She'd probably just listen to Jackson. Annalise might put up Jackson because he keeps telling Holly not to fall and Holly wants to fall. We're just talking. We're just talking. I know. <laughs> Holly might put up Nick and Sam. Cause I think that's what Jackson wants. And at least might put up cause Jack wants that too. I hope this don't go so long that my camera dies and then I just I'm out of luck and I can't even I can't even um do my review. Guys, I don't even know if this video is still recording. I feel like Annalise has had the less of, like, Holly's been struggling. It's not right now, but she has. 
So I feel like Annalise will win. Whoever gets evicted this week, that's the last person to before pre-jury, right? Because three people got evicted, and then... Who was it? Three people, and then whoever just got evicted. Who just left? They must really suck. Oh. Bella. Isabella. Two hours later. Jackson must be scared of sis. Oh, Jackson thinks that him and Holly's on the bottom of that alliance. I forgot. So why wouldn't Jack just tell sis to fall? Why do I keep calling that girl sis? To me, sis is a stupid nickname. That's what I want to say. Everyone calls me sis. A lot of planes going past. <laughs> this. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but like, I'm oh my god, my camera's about to die now. I can't even do my review. I can't believe how long this crap is. This is so long. Oh my gosh. Like, why are they doing this? Somebody please let me know in the comments what went on. Like, why are they? It's like, let me give an example. This is if Casey and Angela were up here. And it was 12 people left in the house. Why would Casey and Angela just sit there and just torture themselves and us? <laughs> well, we already know you're putting up half. You got half pe half the house to choose from because you're not touching half. You're not touching your alliance, which is half the house. So you got half the house to put up. They must not trust each other. Well, y'all, I can't do my review now. My camera's about to die. This video's so long. I like the show. I really do. I just don't like this cast or this season. So it seems like I'm, you know, wanting this to end so bad. It's because of that. <sighs> they might sit up here till the next morning. Out of everybody still talking. Like, Cliff was annoying at first because he kept talking when it was down to the final four. But at this point, like, I have not heard Jessica talk. I ain't heard Nicole talk. I ain't heard Sam's loud mouth talk. I ain't heard Nick talk. Like, all of them ain't said nothing. And I even haven't heard Christy talk in a while. Oh, there's Nick. All right, so my video stopped because it was too long. <laughs> Turned it back on. I'm just going to do my episode review. My camera's about to die. This HOH is still going on. So, 
I don't know. So, <laughs> this week on Big Brother, I don't really know what episodes I'm reviewing right now, but I just want to say, nice outfit, Julie. She looked really nice. So, Cliff won the HOH, which was, what was it? Jesus Christ. That was so long ago. I still got the live feeds on. If y'all haven't watched my previous video, check that out too. But Cliff won the HOH. It was like some type of memory yeah. elimination competition. You had to lock in, lock in the correct answer. Two people got eliminated each round. Y'all saw it. Y'all know what it was. He nominated Jack and Jackson. Everybody thought it was a good move, you know, because he went after two people from the Six Shooters, the Grateful, all that stuff. Christy reveals her power. He didn't seem like he was intimidated by it, but we'll get to it. He named some have-nots, which they all volunteered, but for some reason, Big Brother only wanted to show that Jackson volunteered because he's getting a golden edit. Jackson uh, pressured Christy into using the veto because he won the veto. I love the veto competition. It reminded me of BB Roadkill from, two from the BB18, which was the first season I ever watched. Christy cuts the deal with Cliff. She doesn't want Cliff to use uh, to... She, for her not to use the power, she just wants Cliff to nominate Bella. Because uh, she really didn't want to use it on Jackson. Give Jackson the power. Uh, the veto ceremony, Cliff gave Christy what she wanted. Bonehead move. That's why I wasn't excited. Everybody was excited because Cliff came back and won HOH. So they were like, oh, maybe we shouldn't say all this bad stuff about him. But no. He made a bonehead move and put Bella up. Even though I don't care about Bella and none of us really like Bella because... She is the cause of a lot of stuff. She played herself, really, because of how she acted. But at this point, she was part of the minority. And by the way, another minority left. It's just we just don't realize it because it was Bella and we don't care about Bella. Um, so Nick made sense because then we get to the live show and he's like, yeah, they're going to pick us off one by one now. I cannot believe this. Sis Phil! Holly is the new HOH. Why am I excited? I wonder did that even record? Yes! Alright, so y'all just... The whole video did record on my phone, so hopefully y'all see what's going on. Anyway, let me finish this review now. Let me turn the volume down. Holly's the new HOH, yes. Alright, so... Nick made sense. He told Cliff, like, they're going to pick us off one by one. It's a big alliance. And Cliff just tries to convince him that that was a good move. Nick and Bella become the underdogs. Nick and Bella get this golden edit about how they in love and stuff. They cuddling and kissing and saying how... Basically, Nick asked Bella to be his girlfriend and all that stuff. Y'all know about Bella's situation. Look that up on the feeds because uh, that's a crazy one. Apparently, Nick still lives with his mom, which is confusing to me because... Well, I guess there's nothing wrong with living with your mom, but it's kind of weird because it's her house that he lives in. Not like they share it or like she lives with him. It's kind of weird. Well, not really weird, but I don't know because he's a therapist. That's a good job. Uh, Cliff's talking about his word. Keeps saying, my word is my bond. My word, my word, my word, my word, my word. Should have broken. Uh, <laughs> Cliff tries to work with the Jacks again. Bonehead move. I just want Cliff gone. I don't even want him in the jury. He's so annoying. Bella starts to campaign to people, yada, 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 saying that she's not a threat. Jack's more of a threat, which is she, he is. Uh, we got to know Cliff's family. Uh, they were cute. His wife is really pretty, and he has a nice little family. His son was really nice. His daughter was, uh, uh, she was really nice. Uh, she's on Twitter. I follow her, I think, because she's always talking. We go to live eviction. Bella gave a really good speech. Her speech, that was one of the best speeches. She hit on really good points on why she should stay. Um, Jack's speech was very short, very simple. He just, you guys are great. I feel like it was very fake. Uh, the shout outs. So, you know, I like to say who gave the non shout out. So we got Jackson, who I don't remember if he gave a shout out or not. Sam didn't give a shout out. Nicole didn't give a shout out. Kat voted to evict Mickey, which was funny because she had a fight with Jackson. Bella is evicted by a vote of 8 to 2. Nick and Sam cry hard. Another minority was evicted. I have to write that down because at this point, who's left? Jessica. Uh, Bella admits to Julie that she played an awful game. Bella cried heavy. The Battle of Endurance. My prediction for the winners were Kat, Jackson, and Holly. I want y'all to look up my previous video. Um, watch that video before y'all watch this video. Hopefully, y'all know why this video is so horrible. 
I'm sorry, y'all. This is long. That bitch, that that challenge was like two hours long, over two hours. It's crazy, y'all. I think this season sucks. I think it is very similar to 19. The only difference between this season and 19 is I feel like I feel like if you took Paul out of 19, 19 might have been a little bit better. This season, if you, there's not one person that you can take out and make the season better as a whole. Like there's multiple forms of people. So. But that's it for this video, y'all. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video on all fun social media. Let's talk about the brothers at the comment section down below. And until next time, catch y'all later.